G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. I know my audience, I've seen my YouTube analytics, I know that you are most likely male, Western, and approaching middle age if you're not there already. The lack of interested women in these YouTube analytics is not to do, I don't think, with me or astronomy as a field in general, but more to do with YouTube's demographics. There are more blokes on YouTube using YouTube for longer and more often. But if you are an average astrophotographer viewing this channel, uh, you're probably a bit of an outsider. You have a relatively popular hobby, but not as popular as, say, football. I mean, it's always fun to pull out your phone at a party when people ask what you do and show them a photo of space. It's an interesting conversation starter, and I've certainly started a lot of interesting conversations this way. But in this episode, I'm going to share a plugin called Light Bucket, which I'm using so that you, even if you do or don't use Nina, can spy on the Byron Bay Observatory and see what I'm up to. Hold me accountable by watching my sessions and asking, where's the next image, Dylan? I'll also talk about the changing social space of astronomy and how we connect with each other as people, give you some unsolicited advice on how to stop feeling so lonely. Anyway, my name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Even though you may or may not like talking to people in real life, you can actually pick up the phone and call High Point Scientific. They will help you with your astronomy purchases. They have a full catalog of all sorts of different brands you can buy online and talk to no one, or you can actually get some help and they will help you. They fully support their product and they have a price match guarantee. They ship anywhere in America and most of you are from America. So why don't you go to www.highpointscientific.com and buy something. Say what you like about visual astronomers. You know what visual astronomers have that astrophotographers don't? Friends. They actually go outside and they look at the sky with their own naked eyeballs with people. They actually go out and do outreach. They show other people. They share the majesty of space with others. Family, friends, schools, the public, you name it. They actually have human contact. But the actual work, the actual process of taking images of space is almost by definition a fairly solitary affair. It takes hours at a time. You're forced into darkness. There aren't many friends who would sit with you for hours at a time like that, and that's fine. For a lot of us, this is part of the joy of astrophotography, is actually this solace that we have. Now, listen, you middle-aged, probably male, I know that you're completely comfortable doing that. I'm comfortable doing that. I'm actually quite happy with my own company, but I just wanted you to know that you are not alone. And you don't have to be alone all the time. Go to your astronomy society, meet other people, go and talk to the visual astronomers even. Go and see a band by yourself if you have to. Go to the pub, play some pool with a stranger. Give your family a hug. They won't be there forever. Say good day to the neighbors. Say good day to the dogs that walk around your neighborhood. You know, touch some grass. You get the idea. See, and I'm not just going to preach to you, I'm actually going to practice what I preach and go talk to some people. I have to drive across the state, like literally into another state, for about an hour and 45 minutes because my closest astronomical society is that far away. It's the Southern Astronomical Society. And when you come back to doing your astrophotography, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to open this link and go look at Light Bucket. And what you'll find is that it's not just you. It's not just you out there on any given night. There are hundreds of us and we are all imaging space together, whether we're talking to each other or not. Installing Light Bucket took me about a minute. Just go into plugins, install Light Bucket and then restart Nina then you click to enable, you click the link, you sign up and get an API key, put in your API key and once it's enabled, that's it. You don't have to do anything else ever. From that moment onwards, Nina will auto magically send a 300 pixel wide preview of your last light frame up into the cloud where others can look at the image run that's going on. 
You can look at other people's sessions, they can look at yours, you can see how far along they are in their integration. You can even laugh at their mistakes and when they've lost tracking and guiding, and they can look at yours. Some of us even post our finished images there. So if you have been watching someone else who is imaging alongside of you, you'll be able to see their result, whether or not you follow them on any other social network. And another thing I like about it is when something is going on, like right now, there is the rare green comet, uh, that is dominating the Light Bucket feeds. And it's really interesting to see everyone's raw images coming down. But it's not just me who thinks that Light Bucket is great. Here's a testimonial from Alaskan Astro. As an astrophotographer living in rural Alaska, I like using Light Bucket to brag about how long my nights are in the winter and how non-existent they are in the summer. Plus, it's fun to share with all my friends out here. Now I've had a chat to the plugins creator on Discord, a mysterious figure called Robo9981. That's all I know about him. Anyway, he helped me put together this wonderful time lapse. It shows the astrophotography hive mind, imaging all around the Milky Way. Anyway, I find this really interesting to watch, so enjoy. I'm not crying, you're crying. Pretty good, hey? Robo9981 or Robo9981 has told me he doesn't even want me to shout out a donation link. Uh, this is a really community-led project and he's doing very well. There are some collaboration features possibly in the future and he's going to highlight some of our finished images on the homepage a bit more prominently. But otherwise, it's really just a labor of love, which I think is great because not all of us are doing this for some sort of profit. I mean. This video is sponsored, but I'm saving up for a guitar. Anyway, I have finished an image recently, the Running Man Nebula, uh, which you can see here. And I think it turned out pretty well. That was my first light image for Nina. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, you'll just have to go to my light bucket. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. And remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.